What's up everyone, it's Lord Rai Eugen, and I want to make a real quick video to talk about Metroid Prime Federation Force. Now this is a game that I went back and forth about a lot because when it was initially revealed, it wasn't what I was expecting from a Metroid game. And I have since changed my mind about it. I was willing to give it a shot because I remember all the grief that um, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker got when it was revealed with, with its tomb style and it ended up being a, actually a really good game. So I wanted to give it an actual shot. Um, and I f find it funny that that's exactly what's happened here. I mean, you're sitting here talking about something that a lot of people gave Nintendo a lot of hell about. And after watching some gameplay footage on YouTube from, you know, these companies that, um, these channels that I trust and stuff, it looks like it's a Metroid game. It plays like it's a Metroid game. Yeah, sure, it plays a little bit differently, looks a little bit differently, but it still has that whole shooting missiles, using power-ups, you know, stuff, puzzle solving that Metroid has. It's just in a different style. So basically, all this grief was for nothing. You see what I'm saying? And I find it funny because now they got the Metroid Prime uh, Blast Ball demo out, and that's actually enjoyable. I like the fact that you can, you know, change the controls to work with a new Nintendo 3DS if you wanted to. And, yeah. I mean, and it, at least this is my experience. I had no lag issues. I had no problems using it with a new Nintendo 3DS. I got no lag. And we're talking about a three-on-three -three blast ball. So I can imagine that four-player co-op in the main mission is going to be just fine. I like what it does using the amiibos and stuff to give you like different skins and colors and stuff like that. That's kind of interesting. Uh, for I like the fact that it allow you to customize. That's really good as well. And like I said, I've gone back and forth on this a lot. When I first saw it, I initially didn't like it. Um, and then I discovered things about it. You know, I decided to give it a chance. I watched more gameplay footage on it. I saw the Project Golem trailer. I'm like, okay, well, that makes more sense. Because I thought that's what the Federation Force looked like. But no, instead, it's, you know, it's Federation Force. They get inside these giant mechs. Okay, that might be pretty cool. That's a little bit different. And my understanding from reading a little bit about it is that... So my understanding is that... Tanabe is basically using this as an opportunity to explain sort of a little bit of a backstory and get something set up for the next potential Metroid game, which is more likely going to come out for NX. Um, that involves Samus and Silux, which was hinted at at the end of Metroid Prime 3. So, you seems like you're going to get your proper Metroid game here. Just this was done, I suppose, because it's coming out at the end of the life cycle, so maybe a lot of people weren't even going to look you know, look at it, and um, because it's setting up the story here, I'm sure that they rather than have you be confused as to how we got to that point um, within the Metroid series, they wanted to set this up, and they took the heat for it. But you know what? I don't think that there was any heat necessary. Now I know that I gave them a little bit of grief to begin with; it wasn't really necessary. It plays like a Metroid game, and that's all that I really asked for. Um, again, it wasn't what I wanted. I wanted a proper, you know, game of Samus and everything like that. But I wanted to give this game a chance. I, I, I've changed my mind about it. I've kind of gone back and forth with it. But I think at this point, I'm happy. And I'm going to try it. And I'm going to enjoy it, I'm sure. At least if it's anything like what the Blast Ball demo uh, gives us. So, yeah, make sure that you put your two cents down in the comments below. Do you still hate Federation Force? Has Blast Ball changed your mind? Or have any of the recent uh, gameplay footage changed your mind about it like it has with me? Um, and I changed my mind a while back. I decided to give it a chance uh, instead of trying to give it so much hate. Because I remember with Wind Waker, like I said earlier. But I'm interested in it, especially to see how the story works out. Um, to see how it connects back to the universe proper and to see uh, what we get next from it, especially if what I'm reading is correct and as far as how it fits into the universe. And uh, where it fits in on the timeline, if it is really following into the events that happened after Metroid Prime 3, this could easily be a, a prequel game that takes place between Metroid Prime 3 and Metroid 2. Who knows? But that's just my two cents, guys. Thanks for watching. Make sure that you put your comments down below about what you think about this, good, bad, or indifferent. Um, and thanks for watching. I'm sorry if I took up too much of your time with this. Uh, have a good one. I'll see you next time.